welcome to tips training and certification online training program now we will study the next model that is introduction to analysis phase and qc2s under six sigma and green belt training program this is the third phase of the max cycle that is analysis phase objective of this phase is based on outcome of measured phase identify the potential causes and root causes verify the root causes identify the improvement area the execution steps involved based on the factual data which we have collected in uh, data collection sheet carry out the root cause analysis for each problem using different analysis tools apply the various tools and quantify and verify the root cause establish the relation between the different variables that is x1 x2 up to xn using correlation and regression analysis validate the relations identify the improvement area tools and techniques in analysis phase used are histogram cause and effect diagram pareto analysis control charts viva analysis scatter diagram failure mode effective analysis correlation and regression analysis and finally the hypothesis the seven quality control tools now we are going to study under this phase pareto chart process flow diagram cause and effect diagram check sheet histogram control chart and scatter diagram now we will start with the first tool under 7 qc2 that is the pareto diagram the basic principle of pareto diagram is 80 20 rule that is vital few and tribal many this was founded by the wilfred pareto the italian economist who says 20% of population has 80% of wealth now construction of pareto diagram how we are going to construct this pareto diagram first reorder the contributors defects from largest to smallest that is descending order frequency total the data on effect of each contributor and sum these to determine the grand total determine the percentage of respective contributor of grand total contributor determine the culti cumulative percentage of total here the explanation with the example is given that is 43.7% 43.7 plus 24.6% like that now draw the graph with the label horizontal axis which includes the type or name of the defects or contributors draw the graph with label left vertical axis that is y1 axis with the frequency of contributors or defects draw the graph with label right vertical axis that is y2 axis with percentage cumulative now draw the bar chart to represent the magnitude of each contributor effect that is x axis versus y1 axis by the uh, bar chart now next is draw the line graph to represent the cumulative percentage of total that is x axis versus y2 axis by line chart now analyze the diagram by using 80 20 rule title the chart label it with vital few and useful many or vital many show the cumulative percentage contributor of the vital few the left side of this vertical line that is 80 20 is that vital which leads to the contributors of deviations or defects this is one of the example given to you the problems are vertically in line diameter under face cracks etc 
the number of cases that is the occurrence of each defect is given from 55 to 2 what is next step is we have to arrange this data in terms of descending order here the descending order data is given calculate the summation of this defect that is 126 next step is percentage contributor First for diameter under size 55 divided by 126 multiply by 100 that will come equal to 43.7 percent like that for each problem or defect you have to calculate the percentage contributor. Next step is your percentage cumulative here first reading 43.7 percent will remain as it is next value will be 43.7 plus 24.6 that is equal to 68.3 percent like that we will calculate the percentage cumulative which you have to consider next is flow chart flow chart is a graphical description of how work is done used to describe the process that are to be are the certain symbols which are used for drawing the process chart, operation, inspection, transportation, delay and storage. Using these symbols, you have to draw the process flow chart in detail. This is one of the example given value added and non value added activities are identified study the next tool that is cause and effect diagram which shows the relations between the problems and its possible causes. This was developed by the Cairo Ishikawa. This cause and effect diagram is also known as fishbone diagram and Ishikawa diagram. This is the schematic given related to cause and effect diagram. Uh, on vertical uh, on horizontal line and the point of intersection is quality problem and the arrows are given material procedure people equipment which are contributor to this quality problem to construct the skeleton remember for manufacturing 4 ms and 1 e that is man method machine material and environment for service applications, consider equipment, policies, procedure and people as a contributor. This is the example of fishbone diagram for quality problem. Next tool is your check sheet. This is an example of check sheet. In this for speed sensors, the problems related to its various components such as capacitors, resistors, transformers are identified. Their frequencies are marked as a tallies in the check sheet. Next tool is your histogram. A histogram is a graphical summary of variation in a set of data. The pictorial nature of this histogram enables us to see the patterns of the data. This is good tool to analyze the data of variation. Yes. Uh, this tool is used to compare before project and after project process variation spread patterns and improvements. The steps for constructing the histograms are collect the measurement or data, arrange the data in terms of groups Find the largest and smallest data. Calculate the range that is maximum minus minimum. Determine the intervals and frequency. Determine the boundaries. Determine the frequencies of each class interval with the tallies. Prepare the frequency histogram. This is the example of plotting the histogram here data is given based on the data the groups are formed for each group 
द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ ऑकरेंस इज कैलकुलेटेड अगेंस्ट द ग्रुप्स द फ्रीक्वेंसी डायग्राम इज प्लॉटेड ऑन एक्स एक्सिस द डायमीटर इज गिवन वेर एज ऑन वाई वन एक्सिस द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ ऑकरेंसिस ऑफ दैट ग्रुप आर गिवन दिस चार्ट इज प्लॉटेड यूजिंग द बार चार्ट here we will see the pattern of this histogram if it is properly bell shaped curve that means the data is properly distributed next tool is your control chart a control chart is a special type of train chart used to detect the special causes of variation in the process there are two types of control charts one is the variable chart for which x bar r chart or x bar s chart is used for attribute type of data there are four types of charts we are plotting np chart p chart c chart u chart advantages of control charts are it is a effective tool to control the process statistically it helps to detect the changes in the process over a period of time and take the corrective action it differentiates the chances of cause of variation and assignable cause of variation it is an effective tool which helps to reduce the variation in the process it provides information about the process capability this is one of the control chart plotted and given This is another chart which we are seeing here. The upper control limit and lower control limits are plotted. The values are drawn on the chart using line chart. From this chart, we are seeing all the points are within both control limits. Means process is okay. Next tool is your scatter diagram. A scatter diagram is a graphical representation of the relationship between the two variables. In quality improvement, scatter diagram are usually used to explore the cause and effect relations in the diagnostic journey. These are the patterns of uh, correlations: linear, non-linear, and non-linear. This is one of the example is given. For example, higher the relative humidity causes the stickiness in the system, leading to increased loss. These values are plotted against the scatter diagram. Now you are seeing this data is properly distributed in positive manner. Means here, relative humidity and voltage are having the positive relations. Thank you.